Hello, and welcome to The Power of Preview. We're going to learn about an app on your MacBook that you rarely notice. Preview. It looks kind of like this. Every time you open up a picture or a PDF, Preview opens, like you see up here. And maybe that's the extent to which you've used Preview. It's a pretty good viewer for PDFs and pictures. But did you know it's also a pretty robust editor too, so you can change the PDF and you can change the picture. Let's see it in action. First, let's talk about editing PDFs. Now, the one edit you can't make to a PDF is changing the actual words on it. You can't do that in preview. But you can do some obvious things like highlighting. There's a little highlighter button up there and you can highlight to your heart's content. But one feature you may not know about is you can actually delete pages from a PDF. And the way to do that is you click up here on this little arrow and select thumbnails. Then these little thumbnails on the side open up. And all you have to do is click on a page that you don't want and push the delete button on your keyboard. And now this five page PDF is now only two pages. You can also rearrange pages simply by dragging and dropping them like this. And another neat feature is you can actually merge two PDFs together. So here's a second PDF. Again, I'm going to turn on the thumbnail view. And I'm going to drag this thumbnail over to this PDF. And voila! My two-page PDF is now a three-page PDF because I added a page from the other document. Another neat thing that Preview can do is convert PDFs to pictures, not just view them. If you go to File Export right over here, and you click on this little drop-down box right here, you can actually convert your PDF to a JPEG and vice versa. Now, let's talk about filling out PDFs. Uh, how many times have you been emailed a form, printed it out, filled it out with a pen, scanned it, and then emailed it back? That's crazy. We're actually going to edit this PDF completely electronically without printing it out. Now this PDF happens to be one that already has text boxes and you can actually just fill them out. But let's say you can't do that because not every PDF has text boxes built in. So let's make our own text boxes. To do that, you click on this little toolbox right here. You never probably really noticed it, but there's a ton of power underneath that toolbox. And if you click on it, you'll see this toolbar here that can do a whole lot including this tool right here, which as I hover over it, says text. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and type my name. Now, I don't want it read, obviously, so to change it, you go right here to this little A drop down, and I can change the color, and I can change the size. After I get it just the right size and color, I drop it where I want it. And then you can rinse and repeat for all of the other text boxes. And if there's little check boxes like this, all you do is put a little X in it and drop it where you want it. And finally, you can also add your signature to the document. Again, up on our fancy toolbar, there's this little signature drop down. And you click right here on Create Signature. And there's two ways to do it, either by signing the trackpad or taking a picture of your signature. Once you do that, you just go ahead and click on it, and you can move it around, resize it, and put it wherever you want. Well, that was pretty nifty. I can now uh, fill out a PDF form without ever printing it out. Great. So we've talked about PDFs. Now let's talk about pictures or JPEGs. Again, whenever you open up a picture, it opens up in preview. And you can do obvious things like rotate it around. But again, there's lots of hidden treasures hidden underneath this toolbox. And you can use those tools to edit things like internet pictures or pictures that you take with your camera. Or what I'm going to show right now is how to edit screenshots, which I do a lot. I do a lot of things like this, taking a screenshot and then annotating it with a bunch of uh, text that I want to point out to people. So how do we go ahead and do that? So I'm going to take a screenshot of this. To do that, I'm going to go to the top right corner, click the magnifying glass, and type the word grab. That's going to launch the Grab program. And then in the Grab program, I push the word Capture and Selection. And that tells me to drag over a portion of the screen that I want to capture. So I'm going to drag and make a little box 
right here to capture that portion of the screen. I don't need the original document anymore. All I need is the screenshot, and here's the screenshot. Note that I also could have used Shift Command 4 to take the screenshot if you like shortcuts. First thing I'm going to do is save this screenshot, and then I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And yes, it opens up in our old friend preview. Now, one really, really easy edit that you can make is cropping. To do that, you select the portion of the screen that you want, and you go to Tools, Crop. And notice I've cropped my picture. Now, to actually edit it, again, you click on our old friend, the toolbox, and this time, instead of clicking text box or signature, we're gonna click right here where it says shapes. And I want this shape right here, which is an arrow. You can change the way the arrow points. You can change the color of the arrow. And you can also change the thickness of the arrow. And again, you can add a text box by clicking the T. And this time, I want it bigger. So again, I click the A and crank up the size. And I've got myself an annotated picture. So there you have it. We've done some interesting edits to a PDF, and then we did some interesting edits to a picture, all in preview, an application that we've had on our computer all this time and didn't realize its power. That's it for now, and we'll see you next time.